Hello, everyone, welcome to Start the again. show thing. Start again. You know, I'm talking over you. That's right, don't matter. And he couldn't remember what our name was. Yeah, yeah. What we have, we're going for that, aren't we? Are we going for Bad it? Hammer? Are we rocking it? Yeah. Did Bad you start? Hammer. Did you start the video series with three nobbins? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I never. I think no. if you just do it with confidence, people will just like assume that that's what we are. That's what we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're Bad Hammer Hot Rods. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know. We happen to be three knobheads in a garage, but yeah. you know, essentially, yeah. Um, so yeah, welcome. The, um, what we're doing at me, what you can see here, is very exciting. Actually, we've just procured a two-post car lift, so um, you're going to be able to see us getting cars on lifts and shit. It's going to be amazing. Um, so what we've done, it was pretty rag order. So Lewis and Josh um, and myself, to a certain extent, of been stripping them down, we're just repainting them, make the whole thing look a bit better. Uh, we're going to paint them in our colours, uh, probably get a little bit of um, pinstriping going on uh, and that sort of thing. And a uh, big shout out to my mate Dave, who uh, who's let me have this um, for not a lot. So we'll crack on, we'll get the rest of the stuff stripped down and uh, we'll show you what we're doing as we go along. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Bad Hammer Motorworks. Um, this is not really how I wanted to start the first episode, but um, I'll explain as I go along. So my name's Matt, and um, I've got a couple of friends, and we're, we're starting this um, this this website, this YouTube channel, um, Bad Hammer Motorworks. We're a group of friends that really enjoy metalwork, um, engineering, things like that. Um, I um, I'm quite heavily into motorcycles um, and fabrication thereof. So um, things like petrol tanks and, and you know I'm interested in chopping, hot rods, all that kind of stuff. You know. Um, so what we're hoping for is a kind of you know hot rod culture, pinup style, you know cool paint jobs, pinstriping, that kind of that kind of thing. Um, the reason I didn't want to start this this way is because um, it turns out I'm not too bad at engineering, um, but I'm pretty rubbish at making films and editing. I've done a bit, not very much, but I suck at it. So what's happened is the original footage that I've taken showing some of the very early phases of what we're doing, um, yeah, they've gone. Oh, uh, have they gone? They gone? They're, yeah, they've gone. Um, so what we've got to try and do is kind of re, not recreate. We're not going to do that because um, there'd be little point and it'd be really too false. But we're just going to have to start where we are, um, and and I'll explain to you what we're doing. So where I am at the moment, this is our unit. Um, fairly small at the moment. It's about just over the width of a double garage, um, we've created some extra space, which I'll I'll show you um, in a minute. And we've been gradually getting hold of equipment um, so that we can we can carry on the process. Um, we've got some pretty decent footage about restoring a two-post lift. So we've got a car lift, um, and we're we're fairly um, well up on on achieving that. Um, we've got some footage about we we managed to get a. a um, a fairly big compressor um, that wasn't working. We managed to get that working, tart that up. So that's you know another thing that we'll come back to in a little bit. Um, we've uh, we managed to get hold of a fly press, um, which is a really really useful tool. Um, I've lost all of that footage, so I'm going to have to do another little piece about that. Um, and those of you that don't know what a fly press is, I'll be able to show you a little bit of that. But essentially, you can take you can make tools for it, um, and it's like a great big punch. So you can you can swing this arm, you know, punches jaws down onto another. So you've got a male and a female pattern, um, and you put sheet metal in between it, and it will create the shape of, you know, your your template. Um, so so we've been gradually um, making this place suitable for um, for the projects that we're going to be doing. Um, I've already done some spiel about that. Which is uh, one of the lads, Josh. He's got um, this Mark One Golf that is in the process of being restored. 
Um, and we are now in the stages, so it's been completely stripped. I haven't got any of that footage anymore, <laughs> um, which is heartbreaking really, but you know, one of those things. Um, but taking stuff apart is, is you know, pretty straightforward. Just putting it back together again properly is, is hopefully where you'll see some of the more interesting stuff anyway. Um, but we've got a bunch of, um, we're into the stage of, of cutting out rot and, and replacing with, with good metal and new patterns. So that's all more interesting stuff to see anyway. Um, and um, as, soon as, the, as soon as the lift is finished, the plan is to bring my, I've got a hot rod project that I'm working on at the moment. Please excuse that noise. There's an industrial unit next door. Um, but they should be knocking off anytime now. I don't know why I'm looking at my wrist. I haven't got a watch on. Who knew? Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll crack on um, and I will try and catch you up on what we've been doing um, and then we'll be able to just carry on with, you know, with, with the show, I guess. Um, what we're planning on doing tonight is a little bit more work on the two post lift. We've managed to get that mostly back together. We're struggling a little bit with final electrics um, because we've replaced the three phase motor with a single phase motor um, and just getting those things together. Uh, you know, none of it was designed to work together and now we're trying to just make it all work nicely. So we'll be carrying on with a little bit of that. Um, we've, got, we've got quite a nice small lathe now. Um, nothing massive, um, but we're in the process of going through that. Um, checking it out um, for play and precision uh, and restoring that and um, and we've also got a really nice chop saw so metal chop saw um, big heavy duty one that will go through you know it's probably four mil um, five mil box section um, because the plan the next immediate plan really once the lift is finished is to we'll be building our own English wheel and that's the real bit of kit that we want. We can't, we can't afford a, 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 a real one, you know, a, a nice one, um, because the old, um, the sort of the professional one that you want is a proper, you know, good old-fashioned cast iron one, and they're just, well, a they're staggeringly big, and we haven't really got the space, but also they are hugely expensive if you can find one for sale. So. Um, We've decided that we're going to make our own. We've seen a few on the internet, not hugely impressed this way or the other, but we'll make um, we'll make our own. So that's the order of priority, really. Um, get the lift working. That'll be the first thing. Get my car here because it's soon going to be chucked out of where it is. The clock is ticking, um, and then the chop saw, and then we'll be able to get on with the wheel. Once we've got the wheel, we will then be able to start creating. A lot more interesting things um, because you can start creating some really interesting compound curve shapes um, so with that and the fly press and a little bit of ingenuity hopefully uh, you'll start seeing some fairly interesting stuff so fingers crossed and um, yeah stick with us for a bit see you in a bit uh, just before we move on <coughs> oh dear frog in my throat uh, just before we move on, I said that we created ourselves a bit more space. How did we do that, you ask yourself? You're only in a, a space a little bit bigger than a, a double garage. I know. So, um, this is something that uh, we've managed to rig up out of old pallets, basically. Not anything particularly um, interesting, but Lewis has been very, very busy stripping pallets, getting out some of the, you know, the better wood. Um, and what you can see behind me is this sort of mini mezzanine. Um, affair along with the workbench at the bottom um, it's all a little dark back there at the moment but we have got um, we are in the process of making LED panel strip lights which which will um, go underneath the mezzanine which will illuminate the, the bench the workbench and then um, as opposed to the other bench that's over there um, and then as you can see, we've, we've got the mezzanine on top, which is just great for extra storage. So we've got most of the old crap from that Golf um, up there. We've still got the 1.1 petrol engine over there for some reason. I don't know why that is. I keep I'm meaning to bring that up with Josh while we've still got that. I think he wants to keep it for a paperweight or something, because surely he's not going to put all this effort into restoring that and putting that back in it 
That would be ridiculous, Josh. <laughs> oh, oh, to think. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> yeah, anyway, mezzanine. So, um, and what, we've, what we started with on that side was with um, posts, so holding it up from the floor. Um, those posts are kind of getting in the way. They're not, they're not a brilliant fix, and they, they mean that we, you can't move freely up and down the workbench underneath it. So what we've done for the second half is, I don't know if you can kind of make it out from here, but we've strung, um, we've got great big beams across the ceiling, so we've strung chain up to the ceiling, um, which actually I wasn't sure was going to feel as good when you're up there as the posts from underneath, but actually it feels a lot more rigid. So what we're going to do next couple of weeks, we're going to get some more chain. We're going to repeat the process on the left-hand side, the right-hand side as you're looking at it. Yeah. And um, so I'm looking at myself and seeing my left-hand side, and then I'm looking at that and that's on the, yeah. So it's all right. Forget I said anything. So we're going to replace it with that, which means that then actually we'll be able to get rid of all of the posts, which then means that the, the workbench is a whole long work, workbench. Um, so you can fit longer work onto it um, without trying to have to weave it in and out of these posts. So that'll be really good. Um, and it will hopefully stop it from looking so wonky because it, it does a little. Um, but it's surprisingly strong. So, you know, again, a bit of ingenuity. It hasn't really cost us very much. It's old pallets that we had knocking around, stripped them out, took the wood. I mean, we've probably spent 30, 40 pounds on chain and then, you know, D-links um, and attachments. Um, but we've managed to create ourselves an entire sort of half floor, if you like, just for storing rubbish. Essential spares. Essential. Is that right? Essential spares. Yeah. Yeah. It almost looks like a medieval weapon, doesn't it? With no yeah. guard on it and a wire wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just... Yeah. Seriously, kids. <laughs> don't take the guard off. If someone says... We were oh, very healthy yeah. yesterday. We I've got... Wearing masks and everything. I've got a great idea. This might work better if I take the guard off. Don't. Don't take the guard off.